Peter Davison is the actor that portrayed Doctor Who from 1981 to 1984. He was Doctor Who number five. Let's see what he has to say. Where does Doctor Who fit into the pantheon of British pop icons and legendary heroes? You have Robin Hood, you have King Arthur, maybe Sherlock Holmes, um, and Doctor Who. Where is he in that pecking order? Well, I suppose he's a, he's a, a TV only I icon. Uh, uh, you know, Robin Hood. Uh, theoretically existed, although uh, unlikely. He's more he, 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 um, uh, Sherlock Holmes is a literary uh, uh, um, sl a sleuth, but he's pretty high up there. I mean, with the with the younger generation, he would probably be until the recent resurgence of Sherlock Holmes, which has been quite exciting. He would have been, I think, way up there, probably at number one. But I'd like to think that Doctor Who will recur. You know, we, you know uh, 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 probably in a hundred years' time, I don't know what kind of media we will have, but, but Doctor Who probably will still be there. It's such a marvelous device for traveling in a, 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 either back in time and adjusting history, which is the stories I loved, you know, where the Doctor was responsible for some great event that is, uh, was inexplicable. Uh, um, and it's, uh, you know, you can look into the future. So in a way, because he has the most possibilities, the, 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 the biggest kind of arc he could possibly have that you could imagine. I think probably he'll be, he'll be there, number one. There you go. The doctor's Maybe I'm biased, though. I don't know. Maybe well, I'm biased. You're entitled. The doctor speaks. There's your answer. Peter Davison, a real pleasure. Thank you.